The Fresno Black Girl Magic Project is giving young girls in the Valley a platform as they prepare to enter the adult world, offering them a number of programs that helps them develop a healthy perspective on cultural identity. She tells more about the group and what's in store for them. We welcome co-founder Jamila and Sanaya Finley, along with program assistant Inter Savannah Greer. Welcome, ladies. How are you Thank today? Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. First of all, we need to start with, okay, tell us a little bit about the whole project and how did that get started? Okay, well about two years ago we started with a group of interns from Roosevelt High School and we started, it was called Breakbox Thought Collective mm -hmm. and we decided that youth should be leading the way and so from there we started drilling down into what are the issues with young people and we went into the Fresno Black Girl Magic Project mm -hmm. as one of the initiatives that we want to start with about representation, reclaiming cultural identity and um, decided to start a magazine so either one of them can really speak about that as well okay we need to start talking about that magazine <laughs> See what, it, what is it <laughs> okay so well we have a upcoming magazine which is our special edition um, it's coming out on February 29th and it's pretty much gonna you know recap what our first magazine was about um, Ashe and we'll have old articles and new articles that the girls have been writing and then at the end we'll have our big you know release of volume two of Ashe which is in June in June okay yes. and how does this gonna work is the magazine how could people get their hands on that magazine um, in June we are having our um, gala it is our biggest fundraiser of the mm -hmm. year called Africa tour mm -hmm. and that is where we release it we have a fashion show featuring um, mm -hmm. black female designers and stylists and um, it's where we really get to celebrate what we did throughout the year and we start selling the magazines then. How amazing is that? Mm -hmm. And then how could girls be part of this group? Well, every year we do an intake process and we have a launch party. This year we had one in October. So usually we start recruiting around August, September, and then in October we invite the community out for a block party. Mm -hmm. And then they come and they interview and that's how they can get into the program. Is there a, a certain age that mm -hmm. is accepted or how does that work? Mm -hmm. um, our pro project um, takes girls ages 11 to 19. 11 to 19, okay, yes. so the sort of girls that want to join to keep that in mind, right? Mm -hmm. They have to be 11 or older, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. It's a rites of passage program, so really we're trying to encourage girls through the transitions of adolescence. And then, okay, you need to tell me a little bit about what is Breakbox? Breakbox, okay, so we're just really trying to free people from limiting mm. perspectives, limiting thoughts, limiting patterns, you know, the way that society maybe puts, puts us in boxes, and so that we want to live outside of those boxes and define ourselves and is Breakbox connected to the project? Breakbox is the nonprofit, and then the project, we, we do lots of projects for social change mm. with a large community base. So we're growing our community base every week, not every week, I'm sorry, every month on a Tuesday. We have a big community meeting and then we brainstorm together and plan and all that goodies, right? <laughs> now besides a magazine that is coming up, what yeah. other events do you have going on? <laughs> we're you ladies, so yeah. We have on February sixth, mm -hmm. we um, the Fresno Area Hispanic Foundation mm -hmm. and the Fresno Black Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. are featuring us in um, Art Hop February sixth, and we're going to be doing a trunk show oh. and fashion show. Um, as like a tribute mm -hmm. to just black women in general. Now is that event free? Yeah, it's a free event. It's, free. it's at the downtown hub on Fulton. So there's always a lot of foot traffic there and yeah. it's gonna be exciting. Live music, mm -hmm. um, vendors. And what else do you guys have going on? Um, well, like I said, we're having a magazine release party on February 29th. We're um, at Dulce Upfront. We'll just be, you know, celebrating our magazine. You can come in and, you know, talk to um, the girls and, you know, their articles and just learn more about our project. So we're really excited about that. Um, I also know that on March 21st, we have a, uh, we have Black Girls Unboxed, which mm -hmm. is a live show. Ooh. And girls will, and other artists will be performing. Um, we will be like doing poems, you know, music, you know, writing, and it's just gonna be a really fun time. And where is that happening? 
Dulce up front? Dulce, yeah, Dulce. Yes. Dulce, okay, so that one's going to be the same one as the previous. Yeah, right? Dulce location. up front is kind of like our sister organization, mm -hmm. and they host us. Ooh. So our, it's kind of like our headquarters. There we go. And mm -hmm. then you have another one coming up as well, right? Tell me a little bit about the last event. You have one in, what is it, June? Yes. Tell me yes. about that one. Africo Tour. Ooh, okay, what is that? Okay, so Africo Tour, what does it sound like to you? Oh my God, it sounds like <laughs> some beautiful fashion. That's what it yeah, sounds yeah, like. Yeah, the yeah, the couture, yeah. right? Yeah. So, right. So we, um, last year we featured Amatula mm -hmm. Jacobs, yeah. who was also featured Natalia Vogue and Harlem Fashion Week. So it's actually a high fashion runway event and the girls are actually wear, they're wearing a, a, a world-renowned designer. And she's a black woman who lives in Oakland and so she came last year and her designs were, they're, of course, they're one of a kind, right? And they're amazing and they're African inspired. Ooh. So, uh -huh. so it's really beautiful. And then there's also local designers. Rhonda Kelly will be there. Mm -hmm. um, she's a professor of art and design and she's also um, African Frown professor mm -hmm. at Fresno City College and so she is going to be featured House of She, She mm -hmm. Apparel mm -hmm. and um, Shaman Chic Aesthetic. Um, I'm trying to think if there's one. Oh, Clothes for the Soul out of Oakland. So you're going to have amazing designers mm -hmm. designing yes. all these outfits. Yes. That is awesome. Yes. That really is. And how is this one going to work? Is it free? Or how could people um, go in? It is a fundraiser mm -hmm. so you do have to um, paper tickets mm -hmm. but it includes a world market where mm -hmm. we have local vendors coming mm -hmm. and there will be food and there's live music there's performances mm -hmm. So it was really well event. attended last yeah. year. And, yeah. and the beautiful thing is we also celebrated Dr. Francine Puda, mm -hmm. Dr. Karen Crozier, and those are community leaders mm -hmm. who people respect. Um, so when every year we're going to nominate and award two new leaders. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and they, they dance down the runway and they actually do runway themselves <laughs> yeah. and people cheer for them. And then at the end we have like kind of a parade of yeah. the models and the designers. Mm -hmm. It's just a celebration of African American identity and how we are resilient and it's it's really beautiful. It's gonna be a wonderful event, ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it is. Yeah. Ladies